Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 5th of December 2019 and the time has just gone 11.30 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Russell 2000, uh, or as we call it on our trading platform, the US Small Cap 2000. And the broad theme, uh, like many global, like, like many stock markets, uh, has been a, a, as a positive one throughout the year of 2019. But the market spent a fair bit of time actually in a relatively range-bound state, except for um, actually the last number of weeks, where from mid October onwards, the market, uh, like other U.S. markets in particular, began to kind of push to the upside. And in fact, only um, only at the back end of November, the market hit its highest level in over a year. It hit a level last seen since uh, in, in uh, October 2018. So the market's clearly uh, in a fairly bullish up, fairly bullish upward trend. We did see uh, a fairly sizable sell-off a couple of days ago. Uh, this was on the back of the kind of surprise or shock announcement of President Trump that the US-China trade deal may not be wrapped up um, anytime soon and it may be postponed beyond the 2020 presidential election. So we did see a major move to the downside in global stock markets the Russell 2000 was no exception, but we have been we have seen um, bounce backs since then. And what I find interesting is that um, the, the the lows that we saw this week uh, were nowhere near the lows uh, that, were, that were registered in mid November. So, and now we're already our automatically appear to be seeing a push to the upside. I can also see if you take a look at this particular candle here um, on on, uh, on Tuesday. We can see that the wick is pretty long, so that really denotes indecision. And now we're seeing a fair, we had a solid, we had an upper day yesterday, and we we're calling the market higher today again. Taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, momentum is still in a negative territory, but it's, but it's decreasing, which confirms the kind of upward move we're seeing in the underlying market. So it is possible. Um, there's still a lot of chat around that there might be some sort of a trade agreement brokered between now and uh, mid the 15th of December when the uh, U.S. tariffs. Uh, are due to go up on, uh, on Chinese imports that may or may not happen. It's still up in the air, but what we, what we can see here is that uh, equity markets and the S, including the um, the Russell 2000, are, are recovering from that. So if we do manage to recover from here, we could be looking retesting uh, the recent 13-month high in around 16.35, and if we go beyond that, we then be we could then be looking at levels last seen. Um, in October and early October last year, so the next big area to keep an eye out for 1365 would be in around this zone here, which to be fair is 1700. So that could be more to do with kind of a more potential medium term um, outlook uh, target should the kind of wider bullish trend continue. You'd only be really kind of concerned um, about the, the state of the, of, the, uh, of the market. Should we turn lower yet again? Or should we take out this low here? But more importantly, if you take out the lows of early. Uh, early November, this area here, in around um, 1578, and even if you do drop below that, uh, we could find some support coming from this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, and that comes into play at 1564, and we can see there's some consolidation uh, from that metric on a few occasions not too long ago, so if the metric has been important in the past, it makes it likely uh, that it may be important in the future, but obviously there are no guarantees. Now one of the reasons why I actually chose the Russell 2000 today was that because um, given what we're expecting, where, we're, where we're, we are expecting the Russell 2000 to open, it's comfortably above its 50 day moving average. It's um, we're, we're expecting the open us is in a 16.21. That's 3.6% uh, above its 50 day moving average, which is quite a considerable, um, quite a considerable gap when you compare it to what's going on on the S&P 500. Whereas the S&P 500 is tipped to open higher today, but it's only 2.6%. It's above its 50-day um, moving average, which tells me that, that there's, there's more kind of optimism surrounding the um, the Russell 2000. Um, also, you know, while we're, while we're looking at the S&P 500 chart, it's worth remembering in one of the tenets of doubt theory is that the averages must confirm each other. So essentially, what that says is that um, you, you can be more confident of a certain market move if similar markets are moving in, in the same direction, and that's, that's what we're seeing here. We had the aggressive sell-off on Tuesday. We are recovering on the S&P 500. Notice how the recovery isn't doesn't appear to be as impressive on the S&P 500 as it is on the Russell 2000. Another reason why I chose to uh, do discuss 
Russell 2000 today. So if the market does press on higher from here, we could be less looking at retesting 1635 and then be a more kind of medium term, longer term view. Could be looking heading back towards 1700. And it's only really if you take off last uh, this week's low in around 15, uh, in around 15, 87, 86, because then we begin to be, uh, be, be worried. Now, if you are going to be trading the, the Russell 2000 or any of the US markets, it is worth remembering that tomorrow uh, is the non farm payrolls uh, report. We could see some volatility in the, in the, in the markets on the back of that. Uh, also, please feel free to sign up for our webinar. Uh, my colleague Michael Houston is holding a live event tomorrow at 13:15 at GMT, covering the um, covering the, uh, the covering the the, uh, the payrolls figures and also markets' reaction to it. That can be found on our website cmcmarkets.com under insights and under webinars and events. And thank you for tuning into this video, and please tune in next week. Thank you very much.